All right, everyone. So welcome uh, to a new um, DVD pick. Um, today's DVD pick is a little movie called Chasing Amy, made in 1997 by Kevin Smith. Um, this was part of the Clerks, Mall Rats, um, Dogma, Jane Bob, Jane and Silent Bob Strike Back, and uh, Clerks 2, and Chasing Amy were all part of the same Kevin Smith universe. Now, the reason why I chose this one over the other ones first is, well, out of all six movies, I really do believe that Chasing Amy was the best one. I, I you know, And not only that, I also think it was, to me, it was what took Kevin Smith from just any old director to a filmmaker. Um, this is a very good film, really well written, really well acted. I think uh, it really just shows the talent that Kevin Smith has, not just for writing dialogue, but for directing a film. And for being as smart as to make a romantic comedy that actually has brains. And what I mean is, it's not just your typical 12-step romantic comedy where everything goes. I mean, there's purpose and meaning, and it, it's just done really, really well. Chasing Amy basically is about uh, this guy, uh, Holden, played by Ben Affleck, who is a comic book artist. And uh, he and his friend, uh, Banky, played by Jason Lee, they've been best friends for a long time, they actually have a comic book together. It starts off where they're at a comic book signing. It's like a comic book convention, they're doing a signing. And um, afterwards, Holden meets Alyssa Jones, who's played by Joey Lauren Adams. And, you know, right away they hit it off very well. Um, they go to a bar, they're, they're conversing, and Holden is just immense in love with her. And the next night or two nights later, they, you know, he, they meet up an, at a bar, and once again, he's, he's falling in love with her. Uh, it turns out that basically she's a lesbian, you know, and he's a little scared off a little bit because, I mean, he's, you know, he's in love with her, but she is a lesbian, and, you know, Throughout the whole movie, they, they you know they become really close friends, and finally he expresses his love for her. And at first, she's taken aback because you know how could she love another guy? And eventually, you know she decides that you know she's in love with him too. To make a long story short, secrets come out, things are questioned, sexuality is questioned, and overall, it's just it's a really entertaining movie. And, it, and you know I cannot say it enough; it is done really well. And Kevin Smith has a lot of talent. Yeah, you know, I mean, what he did with Clarks was amazing. I mean, the movie was made for twenty four thousand, and everyone loves it. It's a cult classic. More Rats was okay, but Chasing Amy is the first one that really makes Kevin Smith a real, a real player. I, at least in my opinion. Um, you know, and I'm not a huge Ben Affleck fan, but I think it's one of his best movies besides Days and Confused. And Jason Lee is just you know extremely funny. I think what makes this movie better is that there's very little of Jay and Silent Bob. And although they are entertaining characters, they're not, to me, they're not characters that can lead a show. They're more of background players. And this this film is too smart to have characters like Jay and Silent Bob running throughout the whole film, in my opinion. Uh, but when they finally do show up, Silent Bob has, you know, basically has the essence of the movie right there in his conversation with Holden at the diner. It just really captures everything. So overall, I want to say that uh, if you have the time, Definitely, you know, pick up Chasing Amy, rent it, go to the library, take it out, whatever it is, watch the film because it, it is really, it's really entertaining. And I think for the most part, you will like it. All right. Well, that's my DVD pick at the moment and, uh, you know, enjoy it and we'll talk later. Thank you.